Hello friends, we are now going to see electro-hydraulic actuator modulating type of Rotex mix. The entire system is housed inside a self-contained EHD enclosure where all the components are connected in a modular way. The different components are we have the electro-hydraulic head directly connected to the linear modulating actuator which has a cylinder that moves as per the set point signal. We have glow depth which is for open and close indication and different fault conditions. We have accumulator which has backup pressure. It is sized as per the required number of strokes when power is not available. We have the motor which is used for maintaining the pressure and we have the oil tank which is used as an oil reservoir. We have different flow control valves to control the speed. We have uh, on the back side hand pump and manual selector switch to manually open and close the valve. The electro hydraulic head has a LCD display which has a cover to protect from UV rays. The electro hydraulic display shows the position of the valve, the accumulator pressure value and the set point value. It also shows the condition of all the proportional valves, different alarms and different modes. Here the display shows that we are in the local mode. Uh, the display shows the position value of the valve, the value of the accumulator pressure, the set point value. Presently the set point is not available. So the display shows alarm signal loss. Now when I give the signal from the calibrator, the alarm is disappeared. The input is 4 mA, the set point value accordingly is 0. When I change the set point to 25%, that is 8 mA, we will have to move this in remote mode. The position of the wall changes to 25%. Now when I change the set point to 50%, the position changes to 50%. When I change it to 75%, accordingly the position changes to 75%. Now when I change to 20 mA, it fully opens to 100%. Now, when I reduce this back to 75%, it goes back to 75%. Similarly, 50%, 25%, and now when I change it to 4 mA, it will go to fully closed condition and tight shut off to zero percent. Now, in local mode, we can open and close the wall by just pressing the blue knob downwards. We can open the wall. And to close the valve, we can press the blue knob upwards. We have already seen how to open and close the valve fully in local mode. Now we will see how to change the wall position by a certain percentage 
on local key press. For that, we will have to change the local control parameter in advanced setup. Here, and it should be set in stop command off. Then we'll come back to the home screen. Now, to change the wall position in local mode, you have to press the blue knob downwards for opening the wall. This way, you can see the wall has changed by a certain percentage. If you press continuously, the wall will change more rapidly. Similarly, if you want to close the wall, you press the blue knob momentarily. The wall changes for a certain percentage as, it, as can be seen. So, in local mode, the wall position can be changed by a small percentage in such fashion. Here we will see how the motor is turned on in this actuator. For small changes in the input, the motor is off as shown in the indication. And the motor never turns on until the pressure falls below accumulator min, which is already set. Now if I make a major change in the input, the motor starts as soon as it has gone below 125 bar, which is the setting for the accumulator min. So the motor maintains a pressure between the accumulator min and max values, but that happens if there is a major change in the input depending on the accumulator size. Now we will see how the actuator behaves when the power turns off. You can see here that the present position of the valve is 50%. When the power is turned off, it should remain 50%. As you can see in the coupler, the position is at 50% very clearly shown. Now you will see power is turned off. We'll, you can see at the coupler, the position is still at 50%. Now, I will turn this off, turn this again on. You can see the position is at 50% as earlier. So, this actuator has power fail, power fail, fail safe, stay put because it doesn't change the position when the power turns off. Now we will see the signal loss feature of this actuator. Here we have position at 50% because the signal is available and is equal to 12 milliampere. Now when the signal loss occurs, that is I remove this signal, the position of the actuator changes to zero and the valve closes. Here the signal loss is configured for fail close. Now, if required, we can change this signal loss configuration as required by going into this fail safe configuration menu. Here, we can change it to either fail open, fail close or fail stay put. I have set it as stay put now. Now, after receiving the signal, it is again coming back to 50% position. 
Now, when I remove this signal, you will see the valve is at stay put at 50 percent because signal loss can fail safe configuration is done for stay put. Therefore, we have here signal loss stay put and power fail stay put or signal loss fail close as required by the customer. Now we will see how the actuator behaves for very small changes of input. I have given the input using this calibrator. Now here the input is 50% as shown. Now I will change the input by around 0.1 to 0.2 percent as you can see the position has also changed accordingly similarly I go further by 0.1 percent the position has again changed now I can go back again the position has changed by 0.1% as shown. So the actuator behaves for very small changes in input in this fashion. Now to go into different menus of this electrohydraulic actuator, we will have to press the red knob downwards and while it is pressed, press the blue knob up and down this way. Now press the red knob when you want to enter the value. Here our password is 0000, so you just have to press the red knob downwards four times. But if there is any other password, you can change it by pressing the blue knob this way. If we press the wrong password, it will show it has wrong password. If you press the right password, we will go into the menu as shown here. Here there are different main menus displayed. For example, basic setup, we will go inside it by pressing the red knob. Now this acts as an enter key. Now I go inside the accumulator settings. Now these are the settings between which the motor is turned on. Now when the pressure goes below 1 and 15 bar that is set for accumulator min, the motor starts and when the pressure reaches accumulator max, the pre motor stops. There is another setting called accumulator low pressure which is for displaying hydraulic failure if there is any such condition. We have tight shut off facility here where we can set the tight shut off value and enable the tight shut off for open or close independently. Presently it is in tight shut off mode, that means if you have opened the valve, it will fully open and if you close the valve, it will fully close the valve up to its seat position. SV limit is for modulating control. You can set here the accuracy that you require in the dead band upper and lower settings. This actuator can be calibrated by going into this menu, set open limit and set close limit. If you go inside the set open limit, you can set the open limit of the actuator by going into this menu, set limit and pressing the red knob here and accepting the value.
by moving the red knob upward 